Ja, ja. So we got this all together. New main bearings, new thrush washers, new uh, rod bearings, all clevet. Crank was all cleaned up, redone. And yeah, she's all torqued down, everything's all torqued. Here, everything turns free, one hand, as you can see. So we we'll put this thing top dead center again, and then we'll put everything else back on, our oil pump, our side piece, our new seal. And then we'll get our oil pickup, our tray, lay down some new sealant, and get the oil pan back on, and go from there. So. All right, so we got our plate on, we got our transmission, we got our clutch, our stage 4 comp with our flywheel, everything's torqued spec, loctited, and we got all our bolts, proper size, because we can't go past the spacer, right? Um, when we put our sleeve on, we'll bolt this down. But yeah, it goes underneath. So this is H to B. Um, this is all flush, like I said. So you gotta put these bolts in here, these bolts in here, your T-bracket will go through here, and bolt here and here. Uh, yep, so everything's good there. I just drained the fluid. Yeah, he had some, I don't know what he had in it, it's red. It's like automatic, but you gotta run manual Honda transmission fluid in these. It's it's not proven. I mean, you can run it whatever you want, but I recommend the Honda manual training fluid. Uh, I've always ran it, and everyone I know has always ran it. And had good luck. So uh, yeah, we're gonna the the guys that did the H to B setup before they didn't shave enough off the back. So I'm just gonna clean it up get into the oil pump a little bit and I'll put my half shaft on make sure everything's gonna fit right so uh, once I get the half shaft in and put an axle on I'll show you how much more clearance we need we'll go from there because the axle sits on an angle and it has to adapt right there so I'll uh, pick up from there so guys, if you put this in here, this is the reason why you need to shave the block. Go to mount this up, get in so far, and it gets tight. Well, you can see the gap in between it, and that's touching inside, right? So they shaved a decent amount, but it wasn't enough. They must have beat it in. It has to go more, and then we need to uh, accommodate for the axle, which will go there, right? So we need to shave off some more. I'll get another video here in a minute once I get the half shaft to fit flush and it won't be touching the block. Alright guys, I got it cleaned up pretty good. But it's still it's where it needs to be. But we still have a small gap it needs to be attended and it's because it's barely touching in the back. You can see it there. So, 
We'll just go a smidge more. Smidge, smidge, smidge. That way I can bite up. 